Um, obviously, it had its, its ups and downs. Um, I thought, you know, there was obviously a big expectation on the team to finish higher than we did. But I think at the same time, you know, the, the feeling for me was, was we were always going to need a little bit more time to kind of show what, you know, people are expecting from us. I thought you saw it in glimpses and patches, but not consistently throughout the season. So what is it going to take to get that consistency? Is it a matter of just keeping this group together or adding external pieces? Um, I mean, when you, when you have a team like ours, you know, it's, you have to be smart where you add. You know, we have to make sure we bring in the right personalities, the right people. I think we have a good group, and I think time is going to be is is the thing we need right now to to build to build consistency, find things that work for us well, and and try to be a force in this league because I think the pieces are there. Joseph, you always seemed like it was a complicated season. You had a new team, injuries, you were balancing the U.S. national team. Looking back at it, was it kind of a, a whirlwind season for you, or a, more of a roller coaster than most? Yeah, it was it was a funny one for me. I think um, the when I got injured in May or was it May or June, it was tough for me because I may have came back a touch too early, and I think that kind of threw me off. You know, looking back at it, maybe I should have taken a bit more time, and you know, I was kind of up against it, and uh, you know, little things like that you you learn as as you have a career on how to to cope with, with injuries like that and, and maybe to be a bit smarter. The team also played a lot of different formations, trying to, I guess, depending on opposition and trying to get the best out of the talent that's on the field. Your strike partner, Jovinko, is obviously a unique talent. Do you feel by the end of the season, the team had settled on the best way to use both of your skills at the same time? Um, I, think, I think we definitely need to find whatever it is we're going to play and, and stick with it. I think we're a team that we shouldn't have to adjust to the opponent. When you're looking you know, at the bigger picture, I think we have the pieces together that wherever we go on a given day, we should be able to play the game on our terms. Are we there yet right now? No. But will we be there? Do we hope to be there in the future? I think absolutely. I think that's something we have to strive for because we have the players and, and we have everything here in place to do that. Josie, the other teams played with an edge when they played the, this year, obviously with yourself, Bradley, and Subba. Uh, they wanted to make a statement. Do you guys feel that next year you've got to play with an edge to show them that it's not going to be the same like this year? It's Like I said, it's, it's always going to be tough because in the first season, we're getting a feel for each other. Everybody's trying to see what it's like to play with each other. And then you have teams chomping at the bit to come here and yeah, to play against us and to beat us. So. You know, we understand that every game is going to be a game where, you know, people are going to expect your best. They're going to want want you to bring your best because it's like that. You're going to have a target on your back. So, you know, I think it was a, a good learning experience for a lot of the guys that maybe weren't in that position before at their clubs. But I think now here, you know, we have to expect that everywhere we go, people are going to give us their best game. You, you came from a country where soccer is the number one sport, and obviously here. That's not the case with the Blue Jays and things like that. But you're back home in North America. Did you enjoy coming back home and, 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 and playing at home again? Did you miss any of that? Oh, you miss, obviously, you know, playing in those stadiums, Emirates and Old Trafford and stuff like that. Those are, you know, fantastic experiences. But I was blessed that I had the chance to do that. And to be honest, I, I love this past year in terms of being able to live closer to my family, to, to have this new experience in Toronto. and. It's been a fun one. It hasn't always been easy, and it won't always be easy. But you know, we're we're here for a reason. We're here for the long run, and you know, I'm excited for the future. It's obviously up to Greg. Up to Greg to decide where the team has to be. But when you look at this side, where do you think this team needs to sort of address? I mean, I think it's it's pretty obvious. I think defensively, we have to be better. We have to be stronger. And we know that as not, not only talking about the back four as a team, as a whole, we have to be tougher to play against. And that comes from forming an identity, which I think we started to form. And we have to make sure we solidify going into next season. Why was speaking of that identity? Why did you so hard just to sort of form it? 
I think injuries and absence played a part. And I think when you look at a team like ours with a lot of guys that, you know, now Seba back in Italy, the Italy picture potentially can be having call-ups. It makes the preseason all the more important. We have to make sure that from day one, we're focused, we're fit, and, you know, we're working on how we're going to play in the upcoming season because that's going to be invaluable time for us. How tough are the international breaks for you? It seemed like every time you had to go away, you were just starting to get into the room. Not just you as in your performance on the field, but getting that chemistry back with Seba and Michael and everybody, and then off again to some international event. Yeah, that was hard. I mean, everybody knows how hard that is to deal, especially when we as players, especially at, at our club here in Toronto, we have so much invested in this project and, and the club. And we love being here, so it's, it makes it really hard to leave sometimes to play a friendly against, you know, Team X or whatever it is, and you know, miss an important game here. So that's never easy, and, and hopefully, it's something the league can can put a stop to because it's it's a bit unfair to me. Um, I think it's a tough one because, you know, I'm playing with the, <laughs> with the best player in the league, man. And, you know, he's the catalyst for our team. And we look for Seba to be the guy to, to kind of lead us. So, you know, I think my job this year and, and most likely going forward is going to be to try and, and be the second guy and chip in as much as I can. You know, being that, that he's going to be a guy that's going to look for his opportunities and we're going to be looking for him. So, you know, I understand what my role is within the team. and. And I just have to try to execute that as best as I can.